Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is Venref ketone synthesis. So you can see the main reaction here that is this is an amide which in terms of nucleophile like alkyl lithium or RMGX produces ketone. Not only that this reaction could be utilized for the preparation of aldehyde too. So actually I can say this is a carbonyl synthesis method from carboxylic acid derivative. So here I have also discussed one MCQ. So it could be a very interesting topic for discussion and we will learn a lot of important chemistry. So first is the MCQ. So what is the major product of this reaction? So here four options are provided student and one of them is the right answer. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And definitely at the end of the discussion, we'll get the right answer with proper explanation. So let's go to the main topic that is the introduction of Venreb Nam ketone or Venreb ketone synthesis. Actually, this is a carbon carbon bond forming reaction and this reaction is actually involved with a nucleophilic acyl substitution too. First step is an acid chloride into corresponding Venreb amide by the reaction with these NN dimethyl hydroxylamine and later on further treatment of these amide species with organometallic reagents like Grignard reagent or organolithium results in ketone. Furthermore, this methodology could be utilized to prepare aldehyde by the treatment with lithium aluminum hydride. So, it is a very interesting multipurpose reaction tool. But the most important question why this reaction is important because it is easy mild and selective method for preparation of carbonyl compound from carboxylic acid derivative like acid chloride and ester. So overall scheme of this reaction is the conversion of acid chloride into the corresponding amide by acyl nucleophilic substitution. By the way you can see that here I have taken hydroxylamine derivative hydrochloride salt. Why? Because this hydroxylamine derivatives are stable in their hydrochloride salt form and in order to get the nucleophilic uh, reactivity of this hydroxylamine the quenching of this salt is essential and for that purpose pyridine plays as a role of base and CH3Cl so CHCl3 chloroform act as solvent and you can see 0 degree centigrade 1 hour this product could be produced. By the way student there is an another term which I believe you should remember that is alpha effect. What is here? So if you look at the final <coughs> If you look at the final hydroxyl amine derivative here, it is reactive. Why? Because the adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion. I mean this lone pair and this lone pair rep um, repulsion between the two adjacent oxygen and nitrogen atoms. So this lone pair lone pair re repulsion makes this reagent reactive. Reactive or you can say it make it makes better nucleophile compared to simple amines. So that is why this, re this reagent is far more reactive for nucleophilic addition uh, um, uh, or more specifically if I say here acyl nucleophilic substitution. So it attacks, it opens up, it comes back, it leaves in this way this amide is prepared. Now this amide if you look at it reacts with this RLI or RMGX to produce ketone and lithium aluminum hydride which is the source of hydride as nucleophile produces aldehyde. We will learn more while we learn the examples and mechanism. Now here are two main components involved for this amide preparation. One is carboxylic acid derivative like acid chloride or ester and another is this is hydroxylamine derivative. Now carboxylic acid derivative preparation we are quite familiar with but we are not familiar with this hydroxylamine derivative preparation. For that purpose, I have presented the total scheme for this NO dimethyl hydroxyl amine preparation. So you can see here it is an ester acid chloride means carbonyl uh, sorry this carbonic acid derivative. Now one side is ester here and another side is acid chloride. This is moderately reactive reagent. Uh, for acylation or amide formation and here these hydroxyl it's I mean hydrochloride salt is taken as a certain material from which hydroxyl amine is regenerated by the treatment with sodium hydroxide. So the produced hydroxyl amine attacks that uh, carbonyl carbon and through acyl nucleophilic substitution it produces the amide here. And these amide undergo alkylation by dimethyl sulfide or DMS. So this reagent you can consider as an equivalent of methyl iodide but it is easy to handle 
compared to methyl iodide because of its low boiling point or volatility. And here these methyl groups are delta positive in nature. So, it is electrophilic and one molecule of DMS can serve as the source of two equivalent of electrophile that is methyl. So, these two equivalent of methyl are stepwise replaced by replaces these two hydrogen present in this oxygen and nitrogen respectively and obviously during this process base is needed and in this case sodium hydroxide acts as base. So, after these you can see that these dimethyl substituted amide derivative is produced. Further methylation does not occur here because the lone pair is in conjugation with this carbonyl means not that much available for further alkylation. So, reaction stop here. So, from these, this NO dimethyl hydroxylamine is prepared by hydrolysis with HCl salt. This HCl salt hydrolysis has advantage because the produced N methyl O means NO dimethyl hydroxylamine derivative is converted into the corresponding salt and it is stable in the salt formation. So, that is why this method is relatively better and whenever this hydroxylamine is needed it could be regenerated by the treatment of base like KOH and utilized for the reaction medium be prior to the reaction medium or in situ both. So, now the most important question preparation of amide derivative how these when rib amide is prepared, prepared. So, for that purpose you will you will see many examples. The first example is involved with the lactone. These lactones are nothing but intramolecular ester or cyclic ester and in this context you can see this is the hydroxyl amine hydrochloride salt is used, but here along with that try this dimethyl aluminum chloride is used. This reagent plays two role. One is the aluminum center act as Lewis acid and it can coordinate to this carbonyl ox means ester carbonyl oxygen and activate this as Lewis acid. Second thing here the in this molecule there is aluminum methyl bond is there and this methyl is delta negative or carbonion type. So, it can act as base 2 which consume first this HCl first equivalent of proton from HCl and second equivalent proton from this NH and makes the reaction forward direction and this reaction happens so smoothly that within 30 minutes or 0.5 hours 91 percent yield is obtained. This is really surprising. Not only that if you treat this hydroxylamine hydrochloride salt with isopropyl magnesium chloride which is actually a Grignard reagent. In this case Grignard reagent act as base and it stepwise abstract first this HCl proton subsequently it abstract this NH proton and produces a nitrogen anion along with this magnesium chloride plus. Okay. Now, these for this purpose at least two equivalent of this reagent will be essential and the next step you can see this first of all this nitrogen was previously nucleophilic at the neutral condition, but when it is converted into amide its nucleophilicity increases point number one. Second thing second thing is that these magnesium 2 plus can also act as Lewis acid and coordinate to this carbonyl oxygen which will activate these ester carbonyl for nucleophilic attack. Consequently, you can see these N minus attacks and through acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction, this Wendrip derivative is produced. So, this example is to then nothing but a star to Wendrip amide preparation. That is a very good important for synthetic uh, chemistry point of view too. Now, let us go to the second example. This example is to then nothing but it is actually a protected nitrogen protected or Bock protected amino acid derivative. Here, the carboxyl side is not protected and that is why first step in terms of triethylamine means alkaline medium this BOP reagent activates this OH because here you can see this reagent this phosphorus center and phosphorus has a oxygen loving tendency because phosphorus oxygen bond is pretty stable. So, in this way what happened this oxygen becomes a good living group because in case of carboxyl oxygen OH is not a good living group, but after attachment with this phosphorus it became better um, living group. Consequently, when this hydroxylamine derivative obviously after deprotonation and removal of acid it attacks such that this oxygen removes and it easily converted into corresponding amide derivative. See in the second step student there is triethylamine which is also again acting as a base DCM is the solvent and room temperature means the how much mild reaction condition produces 80 percent 
this amide derivative so this example is actually directly carboxylic acid to when rev amide conversion now further if you look at that this second example is nothing but a modified apple reaction type so what happens here the cbr so carbon tetrabromide and in this case the triphenyl phosphine act as nucleophile so what it does it attacks this bromide okay so i am not going to the fate of this carbon bromide so in this way it produces this ph3 p br and phosphorus is carrying the positive charge which that's why this phosphorus atom got a attack nucleophilic attack on itself by this carboxyl oxygen and this br leaves so in this way the oxygen atom oxygen atom of this carboxylic acid is activated such that in the next phase these these reagent i mean this uh, obviously this am um, hydroxylamine derivative attacks as nucleophile and through acyl nucleophilic substitution at room temperature it can result 80% conversion of acid into corresponding amide so similar type of example but using different methodology now let's go to the next example here this wenrib amide could be synthesized by reaction of this carboxylic acid with this cyanuric chloride derivative so actually cyanuric chloride should have 3 cl means these and these but it's a derivative so 2 cl is replaced by this ome so what happens here in this case in this case this oh this carboxyl acid act as nucleophile and it replaces so this part student you can consider actually acid chloride derivative so it attacks it opens up come back and this cl leaves and consequently it produces this star of cyanuric chloride okay and not only that in the next phase if you look at this hydroxylamine derivative attacks here and ultimately by nucleophilic at it attacks it come back it leaves by the way student the o minus so i h say that this is n n n uh, so this is n n n i am not going through other substitution so this o minus i mean the living group is stabilized because you can see it can push it can come and this is actually a triazine ring it's electron deficient so it can stabilize by the way i've already discussed a dedicated lecture on this cyanuric chloride so you may visit for further learning so in this way this amide is prepared not only that you can see this is cyclopropane attached carboxylic ester when it reacts with these reagent this hydroxylamine derivative hcl salt it converted into this corresponding amide but similar type of strategy you can see trimethyl aluminium this aluminium 3 plus act as both lewis acid and this methyl act as base in terms of dcms solvent we get this amide gx student the stereochemistry of these centers are remain intact so let's go to the next example this is actually dithioester of carbon um, carbonic acid so it reacts with this amide in presence of obviously base like trithylamine and first step one part student look at one side so first nu after nucleophilic attack so it opens up come back this sulfur part leaves so one side is this uh, amide part you can say it's produced now when it reacts with this rmgbr means again grignard region alkyl nucleophile so that r attacks okay so r attacks and through these one ring formation now here interesting point is that this pyridine nitrogen lone pair helps to coordinate with this magnesium such that this ring formation occur and through this in this molecular adjustment it produces this amide now how this thing happens so you can expect student this is the o minus so this o minus pushes here and this sulfur leaves as s minus so consequently this part student there is a r c double bond o and this amide so you can see r c double bond o and this amide so in this way this wearing amide is prepared by the way this example is pretty interesting why i am saying it so you can say this is nothing but a enolate derivative so i know that enolates are nucleophilic but i have already discussed many lectures on this enol and enolate chemistry you may visit for learn, further understanding so it can push and it can attack this imine because imines are electrophilic in nature 
so and after this attack it opens up which produces these when derived amide derivative with one and two chiral centers not only that the same amide could be prepared in a different strategy like you say this uh, this when this hydroxyl amines anion version nitrogen anion version which reacts with this this ester directly it opens up come back it leaves and ultimately this also produce so these reaction proves that this when amide could be prepared from either from enolates or from this amide uh, nitrogen anion 2 in the next reaction it's actually preparation of amide by carbon monoxide insertion what do i mean so in this case you can see that these phbr reacts with this palladium in presence of xanthophos as a ligand so these two phosphorus coordinates uh, now so what it does it does oxidative addition so you may consider this is ph this is palladium and another thing this is br and in presence of carbon monoxide what what happened this carbon monoxide got inserted inserted means this is ph co pd and obviously there is br now you can see this is a carbon means carboxylic acid derivative so in next step what happens these nitrogen couples with these carbon and produces these when ribamide so it is an another example which proves that through palladium catalyzed carb cross coupling reaction and carbonylation reaction also we can prepare these carb these when ribamide too and these reaction is to tend significantly milder in nature so next example is synthesis of this when amide by this phosphorus reagent you can see the starting is carboxylic acid and it reacts with these reagent you can see here there is one phosphorus nitrogen bond which is broken and after that what happens this oxygen is transferred to the means this oxygen goes to this phosphorus and this phosphorus oxygen bond is more stable because d pi p pi back bonding what do i mean the field p pi of oxygen delocalizes its electron density into the vacant d orbital of phosphorus and through this d pi p pi back bonding back bonding these phosphorus oxygen bond have more stability or multiple bond character so in this way it resulted a carboxylic acid directly into the corresponding when rep amide and how such reagents are prepared by you may consider that reaction of phosphorus chlorine bond with this amide derivative in presence of triethylamine as a base at very milder condition okay so now this is actually the preparation of that reagent now we will discuss the use of when rep amide for ketone preparation actually before going to the details we should understand the background of this ketone preparation by when rep amide that is actually what is the problem of reaction of acid chloride or ester with organometallic reagent for example if you react with acid chloride like uh, this we may consider acetyl chloride with Grignard reagent RMGX we know Grignard reagent is nucleophilic so these can attack here and through acyl nucleophilic substitution it can produce ketone fine it's good but there is a problem reaction doesn't stop here so again Grignard reagent of this carbon ion as nucleophile attacks this ketone and ultimately results in tertiary alcohol so the main problem is that we can't stop the reaction at this ketone point now not only that if we take ester similar reactivity happens. this Grignard attacks in the ester carbonyl and first this uh, OR leaves and produces this ketone but still here reaction doesn't stop and ultimately results in tertiary alcohol not only that if you take uh, acid chloride and react with alkyl lithium after this nucleophilic after the first step nucleophilic attack through acyl nucleophilic substitution ketone is produced but reaction doesn't stop because actually this alkyl um, lithium is even more reactive than Grignard reagent so in that case of this alkyl lithium also the product is tertiary alcohol and similar reactivity is also observed with ester also with this alkyl lithium now question what is the way out if you look at the pre, uh, very elementary textbook you will find one reaction of dialkyl cadmium so if you react this dialkyl cadmium with this acid chloride reaction stops at ketone why because this dialkyl cadmium is relatively less polar 
organometallic reagent which is nothing but less reactive organometallic reagent that's why reaction stops at this ketone stage and how this is prepared this is prepared by the reaction of this Grignard reagent uh, or alkyl lithium with cadmium chloride which resulted in R2CD or dialkyl cadmium preparation. But the biggest problem of this reaction is a toxicity of this cadmium reagent. So it is highly desirable to prepare a methodology which can bypass such kind of toxic reagent involvement. So that's why you may consider this is a very important reaction and for that purpose we need to understand why why this amide case is successful for preparation of ketone from both Grignard reagent and alkyl lithium. So that is mainly responsible by this unique reactivity of this amide. What happens? So as usual these alkyl lithium so you may consider RMGX or RLI both will show same reactivity. This R will do nucleophilic attack, acyl nucleophilic substitution type first it attacks in the carbonyl group carbonyl oxygen so it's open up this this is actually nothing but it's tetrahedral sp3 intermediate next step what happens in the next step after this attack this oxygen became negative charge which coordinates to either this magnesium or lithium atom and here this m is nothing but magnesium or lithium which is further coordinated by these oxygen with its lone pair so that the coordination or you can consider chelation or some people pronounce as a chelation so these intermediate is stable at low temperature so that is a very important point student remember these intermediate is stable at low temperature by the way if you look at the previous example here the intermediate means this ketone was not uh, is produced in the first step because these intermediate is not stable at that low temperature so reaction continues and proceeds or ends up into the tertiary alcohol but but here this is stable at low temperature that's why if you quench the reaction at low temperature we will get this ketone moiety or carbonyl moiety even if you use hydride you'll get this aldehyde moiety. So that is the most important point of this reaction or you can consider it's a mechanism of this reaction. Now let us learn few examples. First example that cyclopropane derivative I guess you have prepared the Wendravamide. So if it reacts with organometallic reagents like RLI or RMGX, so it produces the corresponding ketone. So RMGX, this is nucleophilic so it is attack, open up and at the end it leaves so you may consider like that and result in this ketone derivative. So this ketone adjacent to the cyclopropane ring point number one. Second point is that the asymmetry of this center is also maintained. So that is a very interesting point to be understand. Now second example is associated with this reaction of these when ribamide we prepared previously. So similarly it reacts and produces either ketone or aldehyde depending on the substrate choice. And one question may come in your mind that sir, you are saying for example RMGX, Grignard reagent. We know these reagents are very much reactive and it reacts with polar hydrogen like this NH. So doesn't it react? Yes, it may react. So we need to use two equivalent. Even if it reacts also, what it will produce? It will produce a N minus nitrogen anion upon workup it will get back its proton again so nothing matters and actually because of this protonation or deprotonation the asymmetry of these two center will not be affected so that's why you don't need to bother on this step now example 3 if you look at so this is the venreb amide not only that the other side is attached or other side of this nitrogen is having the carbobenzoxia save is at protection so it's an amino acid derivative this center is also asymmetric center so in this case this reagent is reacted now if you look at this c this actually this carbon bromine bond is the most reactive one and it reacts with isopropyl magnesium chloride so student this is actually a sp3 carbon so from one sp3 grignard to what it produces at the first step it produces this sp2 grignard region because we know from sp3 carbon ion you can easily prepare sp2 carbon ion 
it's facile because sp2 carbon is having relatively more electronegativity so the sp2 carbon ion is relatively more stable compared to sp3 carbon ion so this is produced this is the driving force you can consider now fine it produces and these Grignard reagent is acting as nucleophile in the next phase so you can expect that it will attack these and through a cell nucleophile substitution it leaves so actually i'm showing the mechanism in this way because it will help you to understand the things easier and ultimately it produces this ketone Okay, so that's a very interesting thing and uh, remember such CF3 groups are very much interesting and nowadays lots of researches are going on on this group because of its unique property like electronegativity. Okay, so what is the next example? Example 6 for preparation of diketone. Very interesting. If you look at this compound, so this compound has two types of alpha hydrogen. So you can see this is one type of alpha hydrogen. This is one type of alpha hydrogen and LDA is a very bulky base it can't act as nucleophile because of its bulkness so don't worry that nucleophilic attack on carbonyl or this means it's not possible so now it acts as a base it's abstracts proton question which proton will abstract it will abstract proton from less bulky side by the way i've already discussed dedicated lectures on lda2 you may visit now so it will abstract this proton consequently anion will be here and these anion is e student resonance stabilized by the way, I'm not showing going to those things in details. Now, this is resonance stabilized. How? You can say it will come, it will open. So, in this way, it is stabilized. Now, this is actually the nucleophile. So, in the next step, this nucleophile attacks these when ribamide through acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction, it produces 1,3-diketone. Okay, so this is 1,3-diketone and such compounds are also have a name active methylene compound because these two protons have significantly higher basicity compared to normal CH bond because the corresponding conjugate base or carbon and I mean here is resonance stabilized by conjugation of these two carbonyl. Okay, so that's why such compounds are very important reagent and nucleophile or carbon ion could be generated very easily. I've already discussed many lectures on this topic. Please visit. Now, Next example. Next example is pretty interesting about heterocyclic compound. This is oxazole. So, this isopropyl magnesium bromide, it can act as both base and nucleophile, but here it's acting as a base, carbon ion type. So, this is. And now, if you look at this proton, it is significantly acidic. Why? Because, first of all, this is actually a sp2 carbon hydrogen bond, point number one. Second, this is in between this nitrogen and oxygen both are significantly electronegative atom consequently this proton abstraction by this Grignard reagent acting as base it's easier and after this it produces the corresponding carbon ion of oxazole so you can see this is the carbon ion and it can act as nucleophile so it will attack here through acyl nucleophile substitution it will produce this ketone so this is an another strategy for the preparation of substituted oxazole using these uh, you may consider these when ribamide derivative so this is the reference now <coughs> sorry so next example is actually preparation of an aldehyde by using not lithium aluminum hydride divalve very low temperature quantitative yield and in this case this is the when ribamide you can see this divalve is actually nothing but it's a secondary Segbutyl aluminium hydride. So, this aluminium hydride thing is acting as hydride transfer reagent, and because of its bulkness, it is selective. So, it transfer one equivalent of hydride, and through acyl nucleophilic substitution, it results in aldehyde. Now, not only that, if you look at the other protection um, protective group like this benzyl protection, OTMS protection, this OTMS is silicon protection, where they've already discussed on this this silica protection of alcohol trimethyl silyl so you may visit for better understanding so not only that you can see there are one is thioether one is oxygen based ether all remain intact it is a selective reaction and this is the reference now it's a very interesting uh, example student so if you look at this moiety if you treat with lda THF first step and second step Grignard reagent you can see unusual reactivity these aryl group from Grignard reagent comes at here why 
So this is a very interesting reagent and in this way from glycine derivative, I repeat student this is a glycine derivative, amide of glycine derivative you can have different other amino acid derivative too. So this is the uniqueness of this problem and this is the reference. Now look at how this reaction happens, I mean the mechanism. So in the first step LDA it's act as a base I have explained previously. So it act as a base and abstract these alpha proton. So this hydrogen is abstracted by this LDA and what it does it produces a carbon ion here. And this carbon ion is student resonance stabilized how it could be pushed it can open. So you can see this is the resonance stabilization and LDA means lithium diisopropyl amide and that lithium plus is chelated or chelated by two ways. One is the oxygen of this hydroxyl amine derivative another thing carbonyl which is obviously got negative charge after this conjugation. So now it is under conjugation in the second step what happens after that the there is a lone pair of nitrogen 2 it pushes and consequently this bond pushes here and this group leaves and another thing what is actually leaving student tertiary butyl group they are too much bulky and it can't act as nucleophile. We know tertiary butoxides are base but not nucleophilic. So it will produce these imenium derivative and you can see it is a conjugated system ok. And we know that imenium carbon is electrophilic in nature. Consequently what happens if you give nucleophile like Greek nitrate and phenyl magnesium bromide these phenyl groups goes and attack these imenium carbon it opens up and ultimately it produces these substituted glycines amide derivative after workup ok. So, it is a pretty interesting molecule. So, so this is the overall discussion now in conclusion what we have learned today that hydroxylamine is actually a less beta nucleophile due to adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion which is called as alpha effect and amide amide of hydroxylamine is more stable due to plus R effect of nitrogen atom consequently it is relatively more uh, reactive nucleophile is needed to break or hydrolyze this ok. So I mean if you look at this is this is actually an amide. So if the delocalization of nitrogen lone pair is more here so this nitrogen carbon bond I mean this bond will have more partial double bond character and if it has more partial double bond character it is difficult to break and nitrogen does it because this lone pair lone pair repulsion I mean alpha effect if you look at which which uh, release somehow by this delocalization so indirectly these amide bo carbon nitrogen bond is stronger. So, if you want to break or hydrolyze or do any reaction relatively more reactive reagent or strong nucleophile is essential. And the intermediate after nucleophilic addition with these when rep amide is stabilized at low temperature due to coordination or chelation of the hydroxylamine oxygen and carbonyl oxygen to the metal center which stop the reaction at carbonyl equivalent product I mean after workup we get ketone or if you take hydride source that is a hydride aldehyde. And finally the reaction is significantly mindless selective for wide range of functional group and in this case asymmetric synthesis could also be done. I mean enantiomeric excess or chirality of a particular asymmetric center could be maintained. So that is why it is very much interesting. So now let us go back to our MCQ what is the major product of this reaction. Now look at student this is nothing but acid anhydride and we know acid anhydride carbonyl groups are significantly electron deficient or electrophile and this reagent is nothing but it is called Gilman reagent or another it has a name that this reaction it is a Corehaus synthesis. So this dimethyl lithium cuprate so this is a negative charge lithium. So, it is actually student mild nucleophile. So, this is mild nucleophile. So, what it does? It does this methyl anion which is a mild nucleophile first it attacks one of the carbonyl carbon through acyl nucleophilic substitution it one part is left and it produces methyl and by the way this methyl is here ok. So, this is but here no further reaction happens because because this ketones reactivity I am not questioning but this reagent is very less reactive. Another thing in this reagent it has a carbon 
you can see it has a carbon copper bond and these carbon copper bonds have significant covalency okay so if it has significant covalency so less the ionic character means significant covalency means obviously less ionic character less ionic character means less reactivity now that's why reaction stops here so till now what you have discussing from the beginning a method to prepare ketone so this is actually another mild reaction condition which can result in ketone 2 and similar reactivity you may observe in case of acid chloride we have taken acid anhydride but if you take acid chloride similar reactivity you can have it so in this case what is the product obviously the ketone is the right answer but if you don't know the right answer how can you get to the right answer within less time now first of all you need to understand this is actually a Gilman reagent very less reactive mild nucleophile so first reaction may happen but second reaction student may be difficult so this much information I can say and that's why this reagent is this reaction stops at this position and if you think from back calculation no reaction no 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 not possible second thing here if you look at option A what type of reaction for nucleophilic attack uh, okay, after that it produces ketone, this ketone will undergo Claisen type reaction and it will produce this. No, 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 student, not that much possible. This, this is not a very strong base. Option gone. Now your competition will remain that option C versus B. C, in order to prepare this option C, option B is essential. First option B will be produced, from that option C will come. But this reagent is not that much strong nucleophile, so this is not possible so option will be so it's a guess right answer will be option b now this is the end of the discussion student i'm sorry i know this is a long lecture but if you really enjoy this content please help this channel to grow and you may visit two of my other channels so see you in my next video bye bye